we have in Ukraine now uh, around 100 producers of uh, unmanned uh, aerial drones. And this is quite a number at different stages of production. And we also, we, most of them operate in, in stealth mode and, and uh, pro provide uh, these drones directly to the military to test uh, with immediate feed feedback from combat. So that's why we think uh, Ukraine now has uh, the best, like most innovative uh, environment for developing milita military drones. And that's why we're here to actually show this opportunity to the, all the players in this space to come uh, invest, produce their drones in Ukraine. And Our general command uh, uh, would, uh, would come in and provide necessary support for all the co uh, companies that apply and see how they can, uh, in a fast, on fast track mode, develop the uh, drone solutions, but also other military tech solutions um, that could uh, first be used by the Ukrainian armed forces, but then could be used uh, for, for also other nations as well. And there, there are if, if, if you the events that uh, we have... Uh, uh, we already working with uh, uh, in leading international defense companies on setting up localizing production of weapons in Ukraine, and the principal agreements have been already uh, achieved on uh, between uh, the, the our com our nation Ukraine and 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 the, the management of those companies. So we think we'll have this uh, weapon manufactured already in Ukraine. We think like drone could uh, essentially follow that route. Invest money in a country that's open. We are discussing different levels uh, of, of cooperation, and some of the companies say that they are willing to come uh, and, and, and invest and produce uh, produce drones. But uh, we still uh, have to move this to completion, this project to completions. At this uh, stage, uh, we uh, we're still discussing with all the partner nations that support us in, in, in this war. And uh, of course, we talk, you know, winning the war is essential. It's our primary objective, but the future deterrence of aggression will require strong defense, uh, defense industry of Ukraine, a strong armed forces of Ukraine, but also the both defense industry and armed forces should be part of the uh, NATO and the European security. And that's why we think uh, international partners coming into Ukraine, um, uh, setting up production, making Ukraine part of the uh, security framework for the free world uh, is so essential.